And let's start in Nigeria, where the country's military says almost 2,000 terrorists, bandits, and kidnappers were neutralized between May 2021 to January 2022. Now, according to the report, the acting director of Nigeria's Defense Media Operations, Major General Bernard Onyoku, while giving an update on Nigeria's efforts against crime, says over 700 kidnapped victims were also rescued. Well, General Onyoku, while assuring Nigerians that the military will continue to do all it can to bring criminals to book, says ongoing military operations to flush out terrorists and bandits from the country will continue. The Armed Forces of Nigeria from 20 May 2021 to 6 January 2022 neutralized about 1,010 criminal elements including terrorists, armed bandits, robbers as well as kidnappers across the country. This is in addition to other terrorists and armed bandits killed during airstrikes within the period. Troops rescued a total of 729 kidnapped victims across the country. Furthermore, within the period in focus, troops made a cumulative total recoveries of 13,201,300 liters of illegally refined automotive gas oil and 3,969,000 liters of also, that oil barrels, that 8,582 barrels and 6,491,000 liters of stolen crude oil, as well as 11,659,500 liters of illegal refined premium motor spirit we are recovered and handed over to appropriate security agencies for further action well that's uh, indeed uh, a great information no doubt and uh, many people are actually asking that question what has been the yardstick or what has been uh, the success uh, coming from the military and there you have a breakdown uh, all right there but no doubt uh, also recall that uh, we just reviewed um, the uh, Punch newspaper and it was also mentioned that there will be an all-out attack on bandits as well as an all-out attack on terrorists. So uh, we're looking forward to hear more information on that. But don't forget the United States and other uh, countries are paying attention, especially the regional blocks, to see how Nigeria will handle this. But well, we're right. going to allow you to react to this story. So go ahead, please, and share your uh, uh, points and what you think about the header. The big story, one of it making the top stories for this morning.